So check this out. The Salvation Weapon variants are the first real action we've had in the AX Hardpoint section for quite some time. Though the effort mostly amounts to shifting some digits in a database file, changes like these should not be understated, as these modules do a great deal to shake up the pool of available weapons for all ships in the AX combat field. I've seen these weapons adapted into various builds, and have adapted them myself into a few of my own. This will be a detailed review of all the currently available modules, starting with the most popular weapon type for AX combat, the Salvation Guardian Gauss Cannon. This weapon has been changed the most dramatically of all Guardian weapons. The Salvation modifications take what previously fired one large slug and adapts it to fire four smaller slugs in a rapid chain. Accordingly, damage per slug is reduced, though the four-round burst brings this weapon's total damage up to par with its predecessor, assuming all four shots land on target. The four-round burst reduces the need for Deadeye Precision, and offers more chances to damage exerted hearts per attack run though at the cost of potentially doing less damage if shots miss their mark. Optimal range is reduced from 1500 meters to 1200 meters. This might not sound significant on the surface, but much of the accuracy behind the Gauss Cannon comes from distance, as even fixed weapons receive a slight but significant aim assist that becomes more powerful over distances. The ideal range for Gauss or rail sniping is between 2 and 5 kilometers depending on engineering. That ideal range falls closer to the 2 km mark for Gauss cannons, since no engineering exists that can extend their range. This means commanders leveraging Salvation Gauss cannons need to close in to maintain effective exertion DPS. Closer ranges also mean less time to respond to target hostility, and a greater degree of difficulty keeping the target sighted. Heat output is on par with its single-shot predecessor, but the four-round burst spreads out that heat load which means that your ship can dissipate some of that heat as it's generated, making the weapon more forgiving, if only a little bit. Ammunition scales with magazine size. The total number of available trigger pulls remains the same, so combat endurance is unaffected. If you were already running out of ammo before, you should expect to continue to do so now. The different sizes scale damage, heat output, and power distributor draw. Armor penetration and range remain unaffected. Guardian Plasma Charger. This weapon received a lot of love from Salvation, taking it from the least practical Guardian-based weapon and bringing it up to at least the level of the Shard Cannon. Depending on your playstyle, you may actually enjoy this weapon a lot more than the Shards. The most significant change is the shot speed, which has been scaled to frankly ludicrous. For perspective, here is a chart I made in Coriolis ordered by Weapon Shot Speed. Among conventional weapons, the Enforcer Cannon has the current, fastest, non-hitscan shot speed. The Salvation Plasma Charger comes in just under double that. It also receives a significant boost to armor penetration, which increases this weapon's effectiveness against more powerful Thargoid Interceptors, interceptors that were previously too fast to target beyond Shard Cannon range, and too heavily armored for the original Plasma Charger to deal effective exertion DPS. This is because Thargoids have an eye-watering amount of organic armor, and as this chart from Canon Research shows, by the time you hit Hydra, armor penetration becomes a critical stat, and the only Guardian weapon with a reasonable amount of it is the Gauss Cannon, which is why it has remained the most effective choice for solo and small team Hydra battles. Salvation modifications do not elevate the Plasma Charger beyond the Gauss, but it does dramatically increase it from where the original platform had settled. Damage and clip size increases improve baseline DPS, as well as overall combat endurance. Unfortunately, damage falloff remains unaffected by Salvation's efforts. Optimal range is below 1,000 meters, and maximum range remains at 3,000 meters, keeping this weapon firmly planted in the short to medium range tier, despite having a shot speed that would enable use at greater range. When fired at 1,000 meters, target lead time is minimal, making it feel very close in practice to the Gauss Cannon. Since the Plasma Charger fires on trigger release, shot timing is a cinch, making this weapon effective at heart targeting, where it was previously only effective at heart exertion on low-tier interceptors. Clutch, boom, and zoom strategies are recommended for this variant. Unfortunately, Salvation has not made this weapon for size 3 hardpoint standards. This is unfortunate, because the Plasma Charger and Shard Cannon have been the only weapons available for large hardpoints with Guardian technology. Their absence is felt most significantly among large ship pilots. 
Hopefully we'll see these modules in size 3 soon. Still waiting intently for an AX offering in the size 4 category. Power draw and thermal load pose a significant difference compared to the stock weapon, so builds already power or heat constrained will struggle to implement this weapon. Shard cannon. As give and take goes, the shard cannon has been thoroughly worked over. Power draw has been more than doubled, and distributor draw more than quadrupled. Heat output is increased more than 10 times the stock variance, making me wonder what the hell this thing is firing now. Where the stock version of this weapon could be spammed with impunity, Salvation's variant places much more emphasis on shot placement and pacing. Damage falloff is decreased to 1500 meters, giving it more on paper range than the Salvation Goss. Shot spread is also decreased, giving it attributes similar to that of the Pacifier Frag Cannon. The tighter spread makes use against interceptors possible at a surprising distance when exerting a heart, though you still have to close to fart sniffing range for any meaningful heart damage. Shot speed is an eye-watering 6,300 meters per second, making this weapon's projectiles the fastest moving in all of Elite Dangerous. At close range, shot lead times are a non-issue. Shell fragments go right where you point, except when performing head-on passes at the highest speeds. This makes the shard cannon effective at both heart exertion and heart destruction, a first for this weapon category. Of all salvation weapons, this one has become by far the easiest to use, and applies best on small or medium agility-focused ships. The Viper, Cobra, Courier, Federal Piggies in the medium category, and Fertilance offer excellent mounting options for the currently available platforms. Like the Plasma Charger, no size 3 Salvation variant is available at this time. That's all I got for now, guys. I'll catch you later.